Wonder Woman Nigeria, a non-governmental organization, has launched Plastics for Parts initiative to achieve an eco-friendly environment while providing sanitary items for girls. Vice President of the NGO, Ms. Anne Deckling, said the organization had set up six recycling containers in the Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, to encourage recycling for a cleaner environment. The recyclable materials include plastics, nylon bags, aluminum cans, and metal bins. She explained that proceeds from the recycled items are used to fund menstrual hygiene kits and awareness sessions for schools in underprivileged communities. She noted that the initiative aims to address multiple issues simultaneously, such as promoting recycling, cleaning up the streets, reducing plastic waste, and ensuring that the girl child experiences menstruation with dignity. Every girl in Nigeria should be able to experience their menstruation with dignity, without being stigmatized, and with access to sanitary products. And that's why we're doing the outreach also at the government secondary school here in Garki to provide menstrual hygiene kits thanks to the partnership of PSI Nigeria to 500 students. Thanks to the partnership with AMAC, we set up six containers, six recycling points in AMAC um, area in order for the general public and community members to drop their recyclable waste, that is plastics, hard plastics, nylon bags, but as well as aluminum um, cans and metal bins in order for them to be recycled. And from the recycled proceeds, we then provide sanitation kits for those girls in those communities so that we environment like we sanitize the environment but as well provide directly the link from waste to wealth to the girls in those communities. The country representative, PSI Nigeria, Mrs. Fatima Bunza, voiced her strong support for Wonder Woman Nigeria's Plastic for Parts initiative. Represented by Miss Rhoda Olayemi, Program Manager, PSI, she highlighted the project's laudable focus on environmental sustainability and menstrual hygiene. If we've heard about recycling, so these things are not just to go to waste, so they make use of them for other needs like menstrual parts. And this one will also create safe environments, you know, when things are being littered, but you make use of it in a positive way. Instead of throwing them around and littering them around, you have a place, they've set up some places in order for you to throw those things in, in as much as not food, in as much as not something that, that is uh, different from the plastic that has been uh, asked for to be thrown into it so once they do that we we have a safe environment we also give this opportunity to ladies to women to, to girls we also give this opportunity to girls to women all around to ladies to have safe environment as well because when they do this when they recycle this into parts you know the way they they, they appreciate condoms being used to protect a uh, pregnancy or wanted pregnancy this too can also be done and be accepted in the society at large it's not bring shame you know somebody will not be menstruating and be afraid that oh so i'm menstruating people will know that i'm menstruating my my clothes will stain it creates a safe environment a welcoming environment for women at large for her part ambak's director of environment hajia hanatu ibrahim emphasized the importance of community involvement in recycling efforts, encouraging women and children to actively participate by collecting and properly disposing of waste in designated bins. Highlight of the event was the launch of the initiative by AMAC chairman, Mr. Christopher Michaelangu, stating his support for the success of the initiative. So this is just symbolic to say that, yes, this is what AMAC wants to do all over. We had, we've launched today and we'll continue to launch in communities and we'll continue to sensitize. Now this one is also symbolic because we want the women and the children to take a role, a part. It's not about Babambola just collecting plastic. We want everybody now to collect waste and put it in some of these bins that will be available. As I speak to you now, we are going to six other communities from tomorrow, we'll begin to go there and it's going to expand. Wonder Woman will be with us for the next six months. So we hope that after six months we'll be able to look at the drawing board and say how many communities we have touched their lives in terms of sensitization. As we are putting these beans there, we'll also be sensitizing them in terms of their hygiene too.